Hi guys, this is Giorgio from SC2 News and today I'm talking to Jenje Chanota. I probably mispronounced that completely. Um, but anyway, he is from Ministry of Win. You might have seen the thread on Team Liquid. It's a new team practice house or practice house. Um, we'll just talk a little bit about what exactly it is, um, who can apply for it and yeah, what's, what's behind all this. Hello, how are you today? Thank you. Uh, hello, Giorgio. I'm also very fine. Uh, it's good weather in Poland. There is a storm incoming, though, but uh, I'm very fine. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Ministry of Wind. I mean, it's a really, really big and almost epic name. Um, what's behind Ministry of Wind? What, what are we looking at? Well, essentially, we are a group of four people, really, united by a vision to create something new in the landscape of esports in Poland and Central Europe, really. You know, we didn't have too many pro houses in Europe overall, especially in Central Europe. Uh, so we want to establish something new to put Poland also on the international map of gaming houses. Mm, we are, as a team, united by our passion for StarCraft 2 and esports because we come from very different backgrounds and, 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 and we represent very different skill sets as well. So... So I would say that Ministry of Win is really four people and some of our friends, because of course we have some graphics working with us. We have some lawyers advising us. So there is of course more people involved, but the core team comprises of four people. That's Ministry of Win. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you said team house and practice house. Um, what kind of players can apply for this practice house? Is it mainly Polish players? Is it international players? Of course, we are aiming at international audience. Absolutely, we invite all kinds of players from all over the world to come and join us. We already, the players who will be joining us on 21st of May, which is the, the official opening date of the, of the Pro House, come from all over the world. So the language that we will speak in the house is English in 100%. So you, any player who wishes to come and join us should never be worried that he or she won't understand what the coaches are saying or the house staff is saying because the language in the house is English. Um, of course, we do want to tap into 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 Polish community as well because it is first such initiative in Poland, so the Polish audience is very important to us. But we want Ministry of Wind to be an international project to, 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 to draw attention from, from audiences all over the world. And so we invite virtually everybody to come and join us, to come and take a look at what we have to offer. It also applies both to uh, very skilled and professional players who are already renowned in the world. But it also applies for, for, for those players who are already very good, but who wish to improve their skills so you do not have to be a top top um, pro gamer to, 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 to think about applying to our house mm -hmm. so we were speaking about high master grandmaster level about people who are on the verge of maybe becoming a pro gamer yes that would be the the, the ideal target for our un uh, undertaking because we can t we our idea is to give best training facilities to the players we want we want the players to come to us and to exactly to help them bridge this gap between being very good player and being a player with sponsors and a team so we want to help them become a player with sponsors and a team by by giving them training better training opportunity so this is essentially when, where our pro house operates. Exactly, very good players. So I exactly I mean grandmasters, high masters, but um, we are not we are not closing our doors to anyone really. So if 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 we got a very interesting application from somebody, for example, from Diamond, I. I any league <laughs> virtually mm -hmm. uh, with, that shows promise of advancement we are, would probably consider such application. It all depends what, what kind of applications we have at which moment of time. Okay, so let's say I'm applying for, for the team house now um, and I get, I get a spot. What does that mean for me? Does that mean I move there for a month, three months, a year? 
Do I move there for a week? What, what exactly does this entail? It's up to you, Jojo, really. Uh, first of all, you sign a contract with us um, that you'd like to live in the house, and because, of course, we have to pay in order to stay in our house. That, but that's probably an entirely different story. We'll maybe touch on that in a moment. Mm -hmm. But you can sign a contract for one month, for two months, for three, for half a year, for one year. It's all up to you. You do not have to, you do not have to sign the contract for one year straight ahead. You can, you can come for one month to see what's in the house, what's interesting, if, if you like it or not, and then you can, of course, prolong it if you, if, if you, are, if you will feel like staying. Um, so that's the contract. Once you, once you become a player, you, of course, are invited to come to Poland. Uh, you have to pay for your own travel to, to come to Warsaw, but we are picking you up from the Warsaw Airport. We have our own car and our own driver, and we will take you to the house, which is highest standard possible, in the house, you do not have to pay for anything. All food, all bills, all everything is covered, basically, mm -hmm. but from the money that you pay us every month. So, uh, yeah, and the house itself is quite high standard. It's quite high standard. It has, you know, sauna, it has gym. It, it's a very, very large place with a garden in an excellent location in Warsaw. So, so there are many, many advantages. Of course, you also don't have to pay for the coach, both coaches who will be there all the time to help you with your skills. There will be 12 players and two coaches. So I think each player will have a very good deal of um, a very good amount of, of, of coaches time. So coach will probably know everybody and, and will be able to, to attend to each player's own mistakes and, and strengths and, you know, build on that. There is also a house manager who will be helping with organizational side of things. We will assist you with any matters concerning visa, immigration, or anything like that, if you need those. Mm, so really, you are, as a player, our guest, and we do our best to give you best possible experience, both living-wise as well as training-wise. We want mm -hmm. you to enjoy your stay and to make you an excellent player. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay. Um, yeah, we talked a bit about um, this monthly this monthly fee, pretty much. Um, you could call it rent or whatever you want. Um, what kind of price range are we looking um, at? Well, the price I can tell you it's not a range. It's I can tell you the price directly. It's okay. two and a half thousand goldens per month. I mean zlotys. So that's the currency we have in Poland, which would, it is around. It is around 550 euros per month, uh, mm -hmm. depending on the ex currency exchange ratio, it should be between 500 and 600 euros a month. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, so, so pretty much that's the price, but as I said, everything is already included in that price. And I, we, we think that it's not, it's not that high com compared to general living costs in Europe. Also, apart from, from that money, you will... As a player, you will be able to stream from the house. So obviously, you will continue to reap profits from your streams as usual. Mm -hmm. Okay. And like, what what kind of rooms are we looking at? Um, are are these? I mean, I guess there will be a lot of people at the house at some point. Um, are we looking at shared rooms? Are we looking at single rooms? Stuff like that. Yes, we are looking at shared rooms. We have four very exquisite rooms, but uh, they will be shared. There will be one two-person room, two three-persons room, and one four-persons room. And there are five bathrooms in the house, so there will be, and each of them will, has a shower, so there will be no problem at all regarding bathroom comfort. Um, the house staff. Both coaches and the house manager will live in the house as well at all times, so they will be at, on the property 24-7, mm -hmm. but the room is separate from the players, they live in, on a different level of the house. So, um, yes, apart from that, apart, so we will have four rooms for the players, um, there are five bathrooms in the house, there is, of course, a common area uh, with a large table where all the players will be able to eat. There is 
of course, the gaming room where, where all the computers will be located. There is a cinema room. We have an actual cinema room yeah. in the house <laughs> with a bar and a and, and, and machine that makes smoke and, and, and a 600 watt um, uh, subwoofer. Uh, so, um, so this is quite promising. There is a, a casting studio in the house as well. So this is the kind of, of facilities that the players will get, but four rooms, and unfortunately they will be shared. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm just showing a few pictures right now of, um, of the sauna, of the living room, and the kitchen, I believe this is as well. Yeah, I yes. Mm -hmm. And um, in your press release, you also mentioned that you will have um, a cook there. Is that... So you will... Yes, that is... Mm -hmm. Yes, that is correct, Jojo. There will be a cook also at all times who will be cooking for players. We, we, we take great care. It's a professional cook uh, with many, many, many years of experience. We take care to provide our players with a sports diet, so, so, so food for, designed for people who, who have to compete, who have to train, who have to stay focused all day. I, I think there will be three meals a day, um, uh, but that that is really to be discussed with the players who come to the house and the house manager because of course we will be open to players preferences um, There will be also cleaning staff who will be cleaning house every day as well So the house will be will be super clean There is also a person who will take care of the supplying of the house with all the materials uh, food wise and 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 um, living things such as uh, I don't know shower gels and and stuff like that. So um, so that's uh, that's essentially that. Mm -hmm. um, another question is um, the gear. Are are players supposed to bring their own gear or will there be no. computers provided? The computers are already there. Uh, on our website, uh, www.ministryofwind.com, there is already a full specification of the computers that each player will get. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, we, ha we are in partnership with Razer, so um, of course we have access to Razer peripherals such as mice, uh, keyboards, you know, all the drill headsets, but we have assumed so far that the players will probably wish to bring their own because each player has their own preference for, for the gear that they play. So mouse and, and, and keyboard probably, and mouse mat, uh, as well as uh, headset, are really up to players. If they want to bring their own, we are, they are absolutely welcome to bring their own. But if they cannot bring their own, probably we will be able to give them Razer equipment so um, but but the computers themselves so the, the 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 screens and 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 the boxes with all the um, hardware inside uh, are already there mm -hmm. okay and um, now let's talk a little bit about the location um tell us a little bit how close is it to i think it's close to warsaw how how far out are we how far are we away from the city center will there be any activities regarding that um how easy is it to get to and from the house Oh, the, the house location is, trust me, outstanding. It is in the very middle of Warsaw. It is a, a patch of green in the middle of Warsaw, really. It's 10 minutes, maybe 15 away from the very middle and city center of Warsaw. So the players will live within the city at all times with very good communication to all sorts of amenities, cinemas, clubs, city center, restaurants, um, all kinds of sport, sport places. So, of course, communication such as trams and underground. But at the same time, um, this is a, a, a small patch of green area. So there are villas and people living there. So there are there is many many there are trees there and ponds, small rivers and lakes. So it's very picturesque and relaxing. But at the same time, ten minutes away from the city center. So trust me, it is. The best possible, um, the best possible location you can imagine. We have we have a car and a driver to take players. We we intend to organize events for players because we want them to train hard, but also we want them to probably play hard and enjoy their time in Warsaw. So we'll be organizing outdoor activities on Saturdays, for example. We'll be we'll be taking players if. To, for example, to, to parties to the city center in the in the in, on the on the weekends if they will wish to do that, so we, we will be there to 
to serve the players really as much as we can. Of course, all those fun and good times will have to be sanctioned by the coaches, yeah. but, we will, but we will never force anyone to do anything because the players in this scenario are our paying customers. So th we will advise them what is best for their progression, what is best for, for their skills, but of course we can't force them to do anything. We, we won't be threatening players to, that we will kick them out of the house if they do not want to um, follow coaches' suggestion. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm talking about extreme situations here. Extreme situations are a little bit different story, uh, but, but the players are very welcome and very important. Their well-being is absolutely most important to us. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you talked a bit about the coach already. Um, what kind of coach are we looking at? Who is the coach? Um, what kind of credentials does he have? Well, the coach is Matis, uh, uh -huh. the, the head coach. Um, well, he is, in our opinion, very promising StarCraft coach and player. He's very passionate and very devoted to, to StarCraft 2. Despite his young age, because he is, I suppose, 20, uh, he has all the zeal and, and, and interest in, in making most of this opportunity. He wants to invest his time and his passion and, and his well-being into, into, into players' progression. He will be part of the house. Mm, I, because it was really, um, it, it, I, I was the first, the first person who interviewed him really for three or four hours when he, when he came to us to join, to join us. Um, he struck me as a very passionate person, a very hard-working person, uh, who will be able to, via his passion and interest of StarCraft II, access players and talk to them. Um, I think I think he will do a great job. Mm -hmm. Regarding the second coach, uh, we would prefer not to re reveal the name of the second coach yet, because it hasn't been fully confirmed 100%. We haven't signed a contract yet, so I would prefer to to keep that uh, from, for ourselves for now. Mm -hmm. And what kind of race is the current coach playing, for example? Is he a random player, Zurich, Protoss, Terran? Um, Matis, if I recall correctly, plays Zurich, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. But I know that he has um, skills in all three of them, because he also plays random quite, quite a lot. But really, uh, since... Um, uh, pardon me, but I've been always more of an industry side of the thing, yeah, the yeah. business the thing. So I'm not really. I play StarCraft myself, but I'm not uh, grandmasters or masters. <laughs> uh, don't ask me which which league I am, uh, please. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I do not. I do not have the, the full grasp of the intricacies of of, of Matty's gameplay. I, I'm mm -hmm. not in position to judge his his StarCraft gameplay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I perceive him more as an excellent, excellent coach material and excellent person as a, as a, as an employee, mm -hmm. more than uh, more than uh, what he can do in, in, in StarCraft 2, which is the rest of the team has been looking into that. Okay, um, one last question maybe. Um, you said um, in press release that there will be a lot of content as well, like maybe tournaments, um, streams, etc. Um, you said that the players at the house can make their own ad revenue with streams. Will there also yes. be Ministry of Win content that's produced by you, um, as for example, tournaments, stuff like that? Yes, of course. There will be uh, events, a very important part of our um, business idea and venture uh, approach. Uh, we want to be the heart of the community. So uh, we want to build our relationship with the community. And, 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 and this, this will be done exactly by events. So we will be organizing regular bar crafts in, the, in, in, in Poland, mostly in Warsaw, but probably also in other cities in Poland, mm -hmm. uh, for example, Poznan or uh, Wrocław. Mm, uh, there will be tournaments. Uh, probably each month there will be a tournament which will be taking on board the players from the house who will be competing for different all kinds of small awards or, or, or titles. We will be organizing invitational 
tournaments for players from outside of the house. We'll be we will be trying to to bring as many prestigious and well known names as possible to our project mm, from all over the world. So we hope probably we will, when we'll be organizing our first tournament this summer, we'll be inviting best players that there are. Uh, but different question is will they accept? our invitation yet, because we are sure that they will accept it one day, but we don't know if it, that will be this summer or may, perhaps maybe later, maybe in the autumn. There will be also original programming that we will be doing. So there will be interviews with players, there will be lectures, there will be analysis, there will be, the, once a week there will be a program summarizing events from the house, because in the house there will be a couple of live cameras. Of course in public areas, for example, in gaming room or, or, or um, dining room, uh, and, and once in a week we will be putting a, a report program uh, summarizing what happened in the house for, the, for this week, what is new, um, uh, what players achieved. So there will be a lot, a lot of things going on. We intend to, we have our own broadcasting studio in the house, which is exactly built and equipped, e e fitted for casters such as of course, uh, the casting Arkham or <laughs> or uh, Total Biscuit or or uh, or um, or any, any. We have also Polish uh, casters on board, uh, such as Morglum. Mm, so so we will be also looking to invite players to come physically. For example, something like uh, Home Story Cup idea, more or less, um, to compete in the house. There will be plenty, plenty of ideas. We have plenty of ideas, plenty of plans. Uh, which will be definitely seeking realization. Uh, stay tuned. That's what I can tell you at mm -hmm. this stage. Stay tuned. We'll, the, our website will contain all the information uh, once it unlocks. Once the visits unlock, unlock it completely. It will change into our normal, regular website that will be very, very impressive. Trust me. Um, just unlock. Uh, please do <laughs> unlock. Unlock the content with your visits. Um, and once, once we will be organizing events, we will be informing community about them on our website, obviously. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next upcoming thing is the opening of the house. That's the 21st of May, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Is there anything else you want to say to the viewers? Um... Well, uh, of course, I love you all, uh, I suppose. <laughs> but no, uh, the thing I would like to say is stay tuned uh, ministry of UN is about to blow your minds away and uh, i think that our new approach will re redefine esports in europe i I'm, I'm quite sure of that stay tuned observe our website and i think just have plenty of fun this is jim rayner from starcraft and i want to give a shout out to my good buddy jojo now, he may talk funny but if there's one guy i want backing me up in a tight spot it's him. And remember, you don't mess with a bourbon cowboy.